With limited choices for hol holiday fun, businesses are having to think of creative ways to invite people in. Jacksonville Ice and Sportsplex is now offering up spooky skating. It starts today and it's going to run through this weekend or glide through this weekend. So joining us this morning, Mark Sheff, Executive Manager, and Jax Cool, the resident spokesperson. Good morning to you both. Uh, Jax also drove me here. Oh, okay. oh he did. Uh, okay. Hopefully the vision is good there behind those glasses. We're just going to fingers crossed. I know that y'all are right around the corner from our station, so it wasn't a far drive, but thank you for, uh, thank you for getting both of you here safely, Oh, thank Jax. you for having us. So let's talk about it. You, your place has been around and a family favorite for a long time. Now you got to change things up a little bit. You got Halloween and you got to keep that distance because of all that's going on with the pandemic. Yeah, uh, we were actually one of the first uh, ice rinks in North America to, to reopen. So we've had an awful lot of practice. Uh, We've uh, learned how to clean and sanitize. Uh, we have state-of-the-art thermal monitors, so we do take temperatures when you come in the building. We do ask all of our employees and our customers to wear masks, um, and uh, we social distance where we can. We have 20,000 square feet of ice, so you can spread yourselves out a little better. Mm -hmm. Pretty easy to social distance. So what is spooky skating? Spooky skating is uh, you put on your ice skates. We're going to turn down the lights. Um, we're going to have um, uh, food specials. Uh, you can purchase our Halloweenies um, or our poison pizza, which was really not my first choice for that name. <laughs> um, we will have, of course, all of the favorite uh, Halloween classic music that will be played. We're going to have costume contests uh, for the family. Uh, funniest costume, most creative, and just the overall best costume. And they'll win terrific prizes for that. So just a really nice family fun um, time for the weekend, uh, Friday night, Saturday afternoon, and Saturday evening. You know, I gotta tell you, probably the scariest thing that you could see there would be me barreling towards you on a, a pair of skates. You know, I get to do it every couple of years, but that's certainly frightening and, and, <laughs> and reason for you to get out of the way. But it, it really is for people of all different skill levels because when I've been there, I've seen those that are beginners and, and people that are one step away from the Olympics. Yeah, it's amazing um, being in North Florida, uh, the variety of uh, talent that we have out there. Um, but we also have a um, uh, award-winning learn to skate program and a learn to play program for the kids who want to play hockey. Um, we do that twice a week. It's super affordable. Um, and uh, we are sanctioned by U.S. Figure Skating and USA Hockey. So if you just want to have fun and be a better recreational skater or you want to get ready for the Olympics, um, you, know, you should look into our Learn to Skate program. Great. I will be there for the 2020 Tokyo, 2021 Tokyo. All right. Finally, <laughs> I have heard a rumor that you're bringing back dogs on ice. We are. It's one of our favorite events. Uh, we've been doing it now for about a year and a half. <laughs> um, it's uh, Dogs on Ice is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, we give our uh, man's best friend an opportunity to take over the ice uh, for a few hours. So um, you bring your, 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 your dog. Um, and, well, actually, the dog brings their human, and uh, we let them out on the ice. Um, do they get little uh, little mittens? I have no idea how to prepare my 13-pound multi-poo for this. Um, well, there are no skates involved. Uh, <laughs> that didn't work well the first time. Um, but uh, they have dog booties that you can purchase. Um, we've partnered with the Humane Society uh, here in Jacksonville. Um, so it's just an awful lot of fun. Um, <laughs> all sizes of dogs. We, we can actually separate the uh, ice um, where we have the bigger dogs and we have the littler dogs. And they just have so much fun running around on the ice. We do about a two or three hour event and that's coming up in holidays. And then of course Santa is there um, because he's not quite as busy that time of the month. And uh, you can take uh, holiday pictures uh, with your pooch. You're saying I can bring my dog to go ice skating and see Santa? And see Santa. I know it's just, it's almost too much to hope for. I know him. <laughs> I know him. Hey, Mark Chef and, and Jack's cool. Thank you so much. Jack's cool didn't even get a word in. I, I feel a little sad there, but we'll have to. I thought he talked too much. <laughs> we'll yeah, have to invite y'all back on. You can find the Jack's Ice and Sportsplex right there at I-95 and Emerson. $15 a person. More details. Just give them a call or go to their website. We'll be right back.